80. Uh-oh, you're scowling again. You're going to get wrinkles all over that cute face of yours if you don't smile more. <laughs> Hello, Dorothea. I was just lost in thought. There are so many things to be done to think of them makes my head ache sometimes. So many nobles of the Empire are utterly useless. When I am Emperor, I intend to appoint only those who can actually be useful. It doesn't matter if they're of noble or common birth. Noble or common, eh? Can you really do that? I mean, not that I don't agree. I'd make all those nobles vanish if I could. It's not a question of can or cannot. All that matters is doing it and doing it right. The nobility system has only been around for 1,200 years. The concept didn't exist before that. Only 1,200 years, huh? <laughs> you always say such preposterous and extraordinary things, Amy. Yet somehow you actually make it work for you. It's like you're a character from an opera. A character from an opera? Hmm. If an opera is made about my life someday, I wonder how I'll be portrayed. The revolutionary who guided the Empire to a new dawn, or the foolish ruler who took her revolution too far? Well, that all sounds pretty violent. But either way, it would make an incredible opera. Do you figure it'd be a grand action piece full of combat and strife? Or would you prefer a somber political drama? Hail the mighty Edelgard, the red blood stains her story. Heavy as her crown may be, she will lead a soul to glory. To a brighter dawn we shall carry on. Hail Edelgard! That's quite enough, Dorothea. I'm starting to feel more than a little embarrassed. Lovely as your voice is, let's just hope that any operatic productions about me are still a ways off. You're in high spirits today, Dorothea. Yes. I have met someone quite charming recently. I'm hoping we can spend more time together soon. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I wish I had some advice to offer. Alas, I do not. Eh, don't worry too much about it, Aidy. I guess romance isn't really something you're interested in anyway. I'm not completely disinterested. Oh, yeah? Is there someone you have your eye on? Hmm. To be honest, there's nothing resembling romance in my life at present. It's not that I'm disinterested. I'm simply too busy with other endeavors. I have no time to spare for such things. That's not surprising. You're not just any old noble after all. Anyone who has feelings for you... Well, they're in for a pretty complicated life. True, and I can't ignore the possibility that I may have to marry for political purposes. I doubt I'll ever have the opportunity for a passionate romance as long as I live. That's no way to talk. You meet the right person and boom, you have passion to spare. Could be someone you've just met or someone you've known your whole life. There's no telling how life will go. Something could even spark between the two of us. You and I? Now that is an entertaining thought. If such an exciting future is in store, I look forward to it. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's awfully sweet of you, Aidy. Hey, Aidy, take a look at this. I received it as a gift. It was sent from... I don't remember. Anyway, the point is... Dorothea, when you receive a gift, don't you think you should try to remember who it's from? You're right. That's a little thoughtless of me. What's gotten into you lately? You seem mostly uninterested in the various suitors throwing themselves at you. Is something on your mind? Oh, don't worry about me. Everything's fine. I'm just finding it difficult to care about chasing after love as much as I used to. Do you have any idea why? Well, 
I do have an inkling. You seem reluctant to tell me. Is it somehow my fault? No, no, nothing like that. Okay, I suppose you're not completely wrong, but... How do you mean? Please, just say what's on your mind. When the two of us are together, talking like this, somehow I don't feel like I care about my troubles with love anymore. So it's fine. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with that, of course. But it seems we should get to the bottom of such a drastic change. Maybe we can figure it out if we just... Adi, I'm telling you, I'm fine. If you push me any further, I'll write an opera about you. I'll do it right here and now. And then I'll sing it in your face. Settle down, Dorothea. I can take a hint. If you insist, I'll drop the subject. Whatever you do, don't write more opera lines about me. My cheeks are probably still red from your last performance. <laughs> well, I can't promise anything. But if I try real hard, by the time the war is over, I might just have an opera written starring you. No need to worry, though, Aidy. I'll be fabulous as you. A performance they'll rave about for years. <sighs> the frightening part is that I don't know whether you're joking or not. But I do regret to inform you that you won't be playing the role of Edelgard. Why's that? Don't you see? No story about me would be complete without the character of Dorothea. It would be ridiculous for you to play me instead of yourself. Aidy, you really are something special, aren't you? <laughs>